Right, guys, I'm going to be doing a bit of gaming. This is War Robots. They did say that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 uh, open beta started today. Uh, I think it was on the... I think it started on PlayStation 5, but um, mostly they said the 10th. And then they said the 12th as well. Uh, the 12th is going to be on Steam. So I, I just thought to say I'm getting my... Uh, I'll be buying the... I don't know what they call it, but I'll be buying one of the things on um, on the 13th. I'll buy, buy it on Friday. I mean, the whatever you call it. Right, it says uh, participate in battles, got that, win eight battles. Right, capture beacons, three out of ten. Um, get resources, uh, need to play three battles. And then it says uh, gain honor points, so I got half of that. Capture beacons, four out of eighteen. Capture beacons, 3 out of 10. Uh, let's see. Take part in a battle. Right, that, that's not so difficult. So let's go to the chest. Open up a chest, see what's going on. Get some gold. Come out of that one. Let's see. Don't have any of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know what? I actually um, got a Lynx. I got a Lynx robot, and um, I'm using this. Um, I'll I'll look at the names. I, one's a rocket launcher, basically. The other one's a grenade launcher, so it's a heavy. So that's Lynx. I still don't know what this robot does. I mean, what's its ability? It says uh, ferocity. The the robot gains movement speed and goes into stealth mode. An additional weapon is activated that can instantly destroy an enemy with low level durability. Lynx force, uh, force field, the robot has a defense that particularly blocks, no, partially blocks the damage taken. The level of protection decreases as the damage is received. The force field recharges after Lynx takes no damage for a certain, a certain amount of time. Okay, so it has a built-in weapon that fires. I think it only fires once if the robot's on low uh, durability, as it's saying, it can destroy it. And then it's saying it's got those force fields. Um, apart from that and speed. And that's it. Anyway, I've got this robot. Unfortunately, I don't have the skins for it. But you know what's odd? When it's in the battlefield, it actually it actually glows blue. That's the strange thing. It glows blue when it's in the battlefield. I just thought to say that. Right. Um, what else do I have? Uh, I got a few. I, I changed up my um, my hangers. I got the behemoth. I got the. I finally got the behemoth. I've got. Um, well, I wish I could get other colors. I don't have colors for this dude. I mean, I'll probably give him this one, but that one looks the nicest, right? But it's ten thousand gold. It's too much. So I'll probably get him the yellow one or the blue one. I think the yellow one suits him as well. Right. So I got the behemoth. I'm still upgrading this dude. Uh, the issue is I'm still upgrading the links, so I can't actually jump out of this. But the Lynx is going to level 7, and the Behemoth, I, I should be able to kind of upgrade him a bit. Not as much as I wanted to. So the Behemoth can carry up to 4 heavy weapons, and can actually move around with them. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'll show you my other robot that I got. Um, oh yeah, I've got 4 of these emojis. I won most of these. I didn't buy any of them. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? I bought a Leo. I got a Leo, this one. I mean, I had diff I've got different skins for the dude, so I just thought, why not? I mean, it is an old robot, but still, I mean, I've got skins for him, so I thought, why not? Right, I've got, in Loki, I've got two needles and one claw. Uh, I use a jump unit on this dude and armor kits. Right, uh, let's see, what else do I have in here that's new? Uh, Nightingale. I told you guys about Nightingale. This is the one that can heal the squad. Carries two mediums, uh, one light. And this has stealth when it's up in the air. And uh, the good thing about it is it heals the squad. It can also heal itself. So while you're doing all that stuff of healing, you might as well... I, I just put a different ability like Quantum Raider. It's very good. If you're told to heal a, a, a big squad, then you need Nightingale. Because that flies in the air. And has stealth while it's flying, so you know you're protected. 
Right, Sheriff Dementor, I've only got one of them, so that hasn't changed. Leech, like I told you, Leech has got the same ability like Indra. Uh, can draw um, less damage, stuff like that. Still upgrading Leech though. And uh, Pilot for Leech is the one that supports lockdown weapons. So hence the reason why I've got Fainters on this one. I would never put anything else on that. I mean, the... the, 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 um, the, the <sighs> let's see. Oh yeah, sorry. The Legendary Pilot is called Kate O'Donnell. Deals more damage to lockdown targets. Damage buff is restricted to lockdown weapons only. So you need to use fainters, anything that's got locked in. Magnet, well, magnet is a light weapon. So need medium weapons for four medium weapons for at least. Right. Uh, I'm trying to look for strictly new robots that I put in here. Because all of these you guys know about. So, I mean, there's no point in talking about them constantly. Just want to check something. Do I have a heavy weapon? All right. Okay. No, it's always a good idea just to check. Just make sure you don't have anything that's that's there that you could sell and then get a bit of money from. Right. Oh, yeah. The other thing is I've got three stakes now. I know this dude's only showing two because that's the siren. But I'll show you that. So those those are stakes. So these ones here. Actually, I got four stakes. No, I got four stakes. You know what's weird? Wait, I want to do something. I mean, this is going to be very weird. But check this out. I got four of these stakes. I'll, I'll just show you guys this. I got four of these. Now, the reason why I said this is odd is because even if I put the stake on um, on Behemoth, Behemoth is not a close uh, close combat robot, so I wouldn't be able to use Behemoth in a battle. But I just want to show you guys that I actually got four. So I'm just going to borrow these for a second. I'll bring them back to the robots, and I will quickly show you. I think I've got the other one. I just need to look for it. Uh, there it is. So these stakes, either I won them or I built them up. I was able to build them up. You know what? You win components and stuff, right? Right. So let's go back to the behemoth. And I'll show you quite quickly. So that's links, like I said. I've got links. I've got uh, leech. I've got nightingale. Those are my three new robots. And I've got behemoth. So behemoth is this dude. So I'll just show you quickly what I could do with this dude here. If it were possible... The only problem is, I just want to show you guys, I've got four stakes. But the, the main reason about what I'm doing here is the only problem is with Behemoth. It's not a close combat kind of person. I mean, robot, I mean, it's, it's, it, won't, it won't fare well in battle. You understand? So there you go. So I've got four stakes on this dude. But imagine if he was able to be a brawler, this guy would be badass because those are four heavies. You understand the amount of damage you do to a titan or to a robot would be massive but i mean if i did upgrade him to an mk3 maybe then you would have more durability then i could do this you see what i mean so basically so those are like four stakes that i've got on him right so if i change the colors i mean he just looks badass like this check that out looks like a warrior right they look like they're about to launch as well like missiles but basically, I'm just showing you guys our four stakes. I wouldn't be using these anyway. I mean, not in battle because I'm going to use... Um, that's a Viper that causes dot damage. Uh, main reason why I wouldn't use it. Because, I mean, it's 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 not for close combat. It's, it's, it won't survive for long if you use them in close by, um, combat. I mean, he would go down quickly. He, he doesn't have good durability. I'm using three uh, smarters. These are bendy bullets, heavy uh, heavy weapons. Then uh, Viper, obviously, Viper's um, dot damage. Uh, the pilot also supports dot damage. That's Medea Nerim. Uh, all weapons and robots, uh, robots inbuilt weapons with dot damage, uh, dot effect, deal increased damage, effect damage. So basically 15%. So that's why I chose this one. So that's because of Viper. But I think I've got three Vipers. So I could take two more and then I'm building another Viper. So that would be four Vipers. I think the Vipers are more effective than, than Smarters. But the advantage of this would be, let's say I'm in battle. And then basically, let's say from a distance, let's say Behemoth was well hidden, like quite far. Because I think the Smarters only 500 meters. But still, when you're firing the bullets, I mean, they do go somewhere, right? So I mean, the, the Vipers just to keep them away from me. So, you know, I can do that damage. So let's say I'm firing all these weapons. Let's say the target is within 500 meters. The amount of damage you do there would be immense. That's a lot of damage. So the smarter does 352. It's not a lot, 
but like I said, it it does do damage. I mean, I'm surprised the damage isn't the damage output ain't isn't enough. But I'm just saying that's the new robot. I had to build that one up. Now I'm just gonna return these um these um these weapons to where they belong or where I put them. So at Skyros, I put this one, which is a Baloo stake. It's got Freedom, Igniter, and Scavenger Blaze. Uh, so those are light, medium, and heavy. Uh, pilot, I think I removed the pilot. I needed the pilot somewhere else. So I actually removed the pilot. You know what? I could actually give this one a stake. I mean, it's not like it's going anywhere. I mean, there's a needle there. Oh, there's a spike and a stake, and then the augmented skull. This one is actually a grenade launcher and a flamethrower built in. So it's a it's a light weapon, but it's it's two in one, flamethrower and a grenade launcher, which I thought was awesome. Right, let me just look for some other uh, robots I could put this on. But then you know I don't want to separate the stakes. It's just gonna be harder for me to find. You know what? I could actually put the stakes on this dude here. So I mean on Natasha. So let me put the stakes here. And then what this will do is it just makes it easier for me to find. I mean, you, you don't want to have weapons out there not doing anything. I, I don't need this standard thing. This was the olden day shotgun weapon, heavy. Uh, right, that's done. I do this, it's just because it's easier to find, you see. So if I'm looking for them, I know there's one Baloo stake there. No, I think the Baloo stake is here, that's one. And then the stakes, the normal stakes start here, that's one. And then if I need to find the other two right there. So I know I've got four of them. So this is what I normally do. I just come over here and anything I just, I'm not using, then I just put it in here. So I've got light weapons. That's butch. I told you guys I had butch. There you go. I even had the color for it. I've had that for a long time. And the uh, butch, what it does, it can swap over the weapons. Those are heavy weapons. And what I suggested is you use these rockets because these rockets do fire 1,100 meters. These are called Zenith. And the Zenit missiles, they, they fire all the missiles at the same time and then they reload and then basically swap them over. So 1,100 meters, if you put this guy in the background, you'll cause a lot of damage. Especially if you're starting off, if you're starting off raw robots, you're still new, get the butch, it's all right. I mean, you know, for the beginning is okay. And then as you gradually go up, obviously, don't sell him, just keep it. Because I'm pretty sure at some time they're going to ask you to use these kind of robots. And then if you don't have them, then, you know, you, you cannot complete the task. I'm just showing you the robots that I do have, the robots I, that I kind of got. Right, so I'll start with the fifth hanger. In here, I've got Shell. He's using two spears, one decay. Uh, the pilot does support decay weapons, so that's cool. Uh, this is Warrior Typhoon. Got two jaws. Those are heat second missiles and two lasers. And then the pilot is the pilot for the Typhoon. Uh, Behemoth has... It's not the behemoth pilot, but basically the pilot does support dot damage. I've got 5.3 smutters, penny bullets on uh, behemoth. Can carry up to four heavy weapons and move at the same time with them. That's a great advantage, especially if you've got like, long-range weapons. And you've got four long-range weapons, you can put this dude in the background. Uh, as I said, he's not a brawler. Don't take him up with a scorpion. You'll get destroyed. Right, this is another typhoon, but this one is MK2, has the... Um, Correct pilot and then two jaws as a heat seeking missiles, two spike, you know, those um, spear weapons. Uh, the last shell has got two spears and decay, but this pilot is the actual pilot for shell. So, the shell's ability applies a suppression effect to enemies' robots within its um, which it can affect. So, basically, what this means is that when it does that shockwave thing, it actually expands more, like it's it's uh, it will affect more robots. Instead of affecting one robot with that shockwave, you know, from Shell, you will affect um, more robots. So that's basically what this pilot supports. So he's saying within a range, right? So let's say there's one robot here, and you're with that robot, and you cause the shockwave, you throw that guy off. But let's say there's five of them, and you're in the middle. You actually push them all away. So this is what this pilot supports, and his name is Drew Tom Tompkins. And in the background, I've got Stella Sirius. Stellar series and she's got two lanterns. Those are the weapons for blocking enemy firing at you and uh, pan Pantagro. I've got three Titan armor kits and one anti matter reactor. So it's not it's not it's not the best uh, modules in the in the world. But you have to remember, Stellar series can heal itself. So you know that's an advantage. 
And here I've got uh, two Crimson Hawks, one Crimson Hawks, MK2, has got two Talon, hit second missiles, and two uh, uh, Kifus. These are light um, grenade launchers, uh, correct pilot, and uh, I think that's Amadillo it's for healing. Right, uh, Techno Scorpion, correct pilot, he just adds more stealth to the, to the Scorpion, and that's a stealth beacon. I've got two of those medium um, grenade launching weapons, the Libras and Blight. So that's the that's a um, radiation weapon. Then um, in here I've got Erebus, that's correct pilot. What this pilot supports is that when you fire that cannon thing of yours, the cannon will actually do damage while while the robot is frozen or whatever. Even if it's moving, it will be cause it causes it causes damage. Uh, let's see his name. His name is basically Samuel Johnson. Every time Erebus ability is activated, it deals increased damage for seven seconds. You see, it just deals damage. You know when he fires that cannon thing. He's got three prismas on him, and each prisma does 1,100 meters. Each is level 5, and the damage output is 4,762. does a lot of damage, right? Uh, Technoscopia and this dude here, the pilot does support uh, uh, the blight, so, you know, like radiation weapons, and it's got two faintest lockdown weapons. The last Crimson Hawk is a level 5. Uh, this pilot, I think, is uh, Johnny Wound. Hawk's built-in ability applies lockdown to enemies. So if you, when he's firing his cannon and it hits the enemy, it basically can't move if it's a titan. Uh, he's got two blights and two vipers. Right. So, and in the background, that's Baloo Luchindor. He's got two lanterns. And Mah Mahal Vajra has got titan anti-cooler, titan armor kit, cannibal reactor suffix unit. So, yeah. Right. Moving on. Third, we've got uh, four emojis. And they're all using slightly similar weapons. So I'm just going to be quick here. It's got uh, two hazards and um, what's that other weapon called? Oh, yeah, the sting. And the, the pilot supports the sting uh, dot damage. Right. This other one, uh, correct pilot. Uh, two hazards, one blight. Um, Angler has got the freeze weapons and toxin, the green. And uh, I think this dude, Angler's ability duration increased by 20%. Okay, so it's just that stealth. Right, and then the other immigrants got Ultimate Okan Magneto, that's locked on weapon, and Ultimate Okan uh, missiles. Uh, two hazards and Chromoli, that's just bendy bullets. Uh, in the background, got uh, Kraken, Indra's got two Everos, one Mahal Vajra. Selfix unit, two antimatter reactors, and damage controller. Right, second hangar, got three hop, no, two hoppies, two Mars, and one Angler, and um, Newton in the background. Right, both of the harpies are using Rastos. Um, I think they're both MK2s. No, so must be the other one. Right, right, it doesn't matter. Um, two Rastos and Crew Bane. Uh, the other mouse, the both mouses are using fainter weapons. And then this Angler's using uh, Talon and three claws. Those are hit second missiles. Uh, Newton's got Kraken Mahavadra. The Gantua, like I said, even if you don't have. Uh, quantum sense on you that will target any robot or titan in front of you then two lanterns uh it's got two onslaughts uh reactors uh, one damage control one self-fix unit uh let's go to the first thing first thing i've got neither two close two spark mk2s uh correct pilot and it's got modules only him i got links uh got uh, the heavy grenade launcher and freedom avalanche that's a uh, uh, missiles and it's got correct pilot um, Erebus has got two Reapers and one Retro Reaper. And what those do is that they're long range weapons. And the dude in here is called Jad Sparks. And um, all of Erebus built in cannon missiles now deal damage. So I don't know what the built in things are in this dude. So just more damage. Uh, the Retro Reapers do damage at 1,100 meters. I do have the Retro Reaper, but I only want that. Those of the scopes in front of them, those are sniper weapons. Um, the Harpy's got two Razzle MK2, so this is where this dude went, and then uh, Crew Bane. And then uh, here, the Angler's got all laser, light, and medium I mean, light and heavy. And then the pilot does support, um, you know, like overheating of the lasers, that's why I got him. And um, the Dol Toki uh, is a, a, it's a beacon that supports lasers. In the background, you've got Indra, got the Dazzler that stops. 
uh, enemies firing, firing at you and two Vajras and it's got quantum sensor, titan, anti uh, titan accelerator, that's for speed, quantum sensors for targeting robots and stealth, and then cannibal reactor is uh, damage output, self unit, healing the ro titan, and they're all maxed out, level 25, uh, Indra's level 52, and my pilot is all the way up there, so I mean, I mean, I was able to get some stuff for him. And boost him so you know that's the good thing uh i was surprised you can actually use uh platinum to boost this guy i mean to boost these so he's at the moment he's a uh, he's going to 60 i think i don't know what this would be called because the next one is 61 or oh, he's a 51 but he does say 59 up there then 61 71 9, 81 91 so he's just four levels until he's maxed out how do you get the pilot well there was a there was a time when we had to do challenges and stuff and then get these guys going. But like like I said, I think the, the best thing with these dudes is just to like, um, you know, whenever they're doing sales, uh, what I mean is when they're doing sales, try and buy the pilot because it's very difficult to get the pilot. I mean, they, they don't normally just put the pilot there. So when they're doing deals, look out for the deals and then basically that's how you probably buy a Titan. Because like I said, they don't actually advertise them. I mean, they don't put them here. So I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. So if you do find a deal and they are selling these pilots, then just, just, um, just get them. Just try and get the pilot. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you can, if you can, um, like I said, if you can try and get the pilot because it's just a good idea. Other than that, you, you might not get a chance. Um, so that's that's why I'm saying you may not get the opportunity of of getting the pilot. As I said, they don't normally just put the pilot out there, right? Sorry, guys. I'm actually trying to um, because you know it's not plugged in. So right there we go. Right. So like I said, it's uh, if you do get a, manage to get a chance. And they are up on sale. Try and buy a pilot because they no, don't normally put the pilots out there. So it's just a good idea to get, you know, just if you get the opportunity, try and get the pilot because they don't normally put them out there. Right. It says I've gone there. Right. It's going to get into my says Take part in a battle. That's fine. I do find sometimes if you find like you're not getting tasks enough, enough tasks, then just basically... Uh, stop playing the game for a while, play a different game, come back to it, and hopefully you get uh, a task. Or if you want, just complete these ones, you know, the ones at the bottom. Then at least, you, because if as as you're ranking up, you know, this uh, quest operation, you do complete, you can complete these ones if you want to. So, I mean, if you're not getting anything else, then complete those. I mean, it's better than not playing the game, isn't it? So, I'm just saying if, if you're bored and you're not doing anything. So in the first tank, I've got Neither, Lynx, Erebus, um, Harpy, Angler, and um, Indra in the background. Second hangar, I've got two Harpies, two Mars, one Angler, and Newton in the background. That's the Titan that lifts up robots, Titans. I got In the third hangar, I've got four Emojis, one Angler, and Kraken, Indra in the background. And the fourth thing, I've got two Crimson Hawk, two Techno Scorpion, one Erebus, and Baloo Luchindor. In the fifth thing, I've got two Shells, two Warrior Typhoon, Behemoth, and uh, Stellar Series. Right, I'm going to jump into a match now.